Walt Disney created films that everyone of all ages loved. He built Disney World, the most magical place on earth that sees millions of visitors each year. He was a creative genius. However, he also had quite a few skeletons in his closet, including harboring lifelong guilt over a loved one's death. In today's video, we will be sharing some of the dark secrets about Walt Disney. But before continuing further, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon, so you never miss any update from us. Let's continue with our video. He produced many controversial films. While some of Disney's films are fan favorites, many of them have hidden hints of discrimination. Jungle Book is believed to contain underlying plot lines of racism, since it was created in the midst of 20th century segregation issues. Fantasia originally contained a scene portraying a dark-skinned sunflower, polishing a lighter-skinned centerette's hooves, indicating Disney's belief that black people were lesser than white people. The scene has since been removed in newer editions. Many believed he was a racist. In 2014, Meryl Streep accused Disney of bigotry and went on to explain that he was racist and sexist. Streep caused controversy over her remarks until Disney's own grandniece, Abigail Disney, explained how her great-uncle was, indeed, racist. He expressed anti-Semitic behavior. In addition to racist behavior, Disney was frequently accused of being anti-Semitic. One of Disney's most well-known short films, The Three Little Pigs, portrayed the big bad wolf as a Jewish peddler. This raised plenty of eyebrows for years. Plus, Disney openly associated himself with the anti-Semitic Motion Picture Alliance. Plus, he invited Leni Riefenstahl, a Nazi supporter, to his studios in the wake of Kristallnacht. He served as an FBI informant for more than 25 years. There had been much speculation about whether or not Disney was associated with the FBI up until his death in 1966. More than 20 years ago, Mark Elliott began working on a biography of Disney. He was able to obtain documents that finally verified Disney's compliance with the FBI as an informant. However, for national security reasons, many of the documents were blacked out. So although it is not confirmed what Hollywood names Disney passed on to the FBI, it is clear that he was secretly working for them. Disney frequently battled wage discrepancies. Wage issues were all too familiar to Disney. In 1941, Disney's animators went on strike to oppose strong wage discrepancies. Some animators claimed their co-workers were making up to $300 per week, while others were making as little as $12 per week. Disney defended the pay gap, saying those who contributed greater content to the company received higher pay. However, it caused a divide among the animators and disturbed the company's unity. He promoted World War II through cartoon propaganda, but he was actually anti-war. During World War II, Disney agreed to promote the war through his cartoons, although he actually was a pacifist and believed that since we are all humans, we should not fight one another. While he did create cartoons about the war, they were often skewed with negativity about what the military life was actually like. In one cartoon, Donald Duck was portrayed entering the draft. He believed that the military life would be one filled with success and respect. He quickly realized that the propaganda was a lie, and the military life is a hard one. Many people took the cartoon to be an anti-war expression. His mother died in the house he bought her. For years, many people wondered why Disney characters did not have moms. In a 2014 interview, Don Hahn, a producer who worked at the studio for decades, revealed that it was Disney's guilt that prevented him from including mothers in his animated films. Disney purchased a large home for his parents after making a lot of money, but the gas boiler was faulty. Disney sent over a team to fix it, but they didn't do the job right, and his mother died from carbon monoxide poisoning. He forever blamed the death on himself. Mysterious death of Debbie Stone 18-year-old Debbie Stone was a hostess on the ride. America sings at Disneyland, California, and her job was to bid farewell to the leaving audience. But only nine days later, Debbie's body was found mysteriously crushed between a rotating wall and a stationary one. Some members of the audience admitted to hearing screams from backstage but ignored them, thinking all of this to be a part of the performance. Disney was responsible for lemmings committing mass suicides. Disney was responsible for feeding the notion in the minds of people that lemmings often commit mass suicide when their population grows out of control. While shooting for a movie called White Wilderness, 1958, Disney cleverly used edits and angles to deceive the viewer into thinking that what they were seeing was a natural lemmings migration. The closing shot of the film shows a lake filled with dead bodies of the lemmings, but in reality, the lemmings did not jump on their own. They were pushed by the Disney film crew. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. 
so you've never missed any update from us. Thanks for watching till end.